Hello, everyone. This is Brandon from RookiePreacher.com. Wanted to share with you a workflow to follow up with visitors after they have come to your church and give you uh, just some pointers on setting up some powerful tools in MailChimp, which is uh, part five of this article that I wrote uh, on May 20th. And basically, here's the idea. Someone comes into your church for the first time, and uh, hopefully they have a great time. Hopefully they encounter some, you know, smiles at the door, and people are welcoming to them. Um, but here's the thing: it's going to be hu- hugely important to get their information, to make them feel welcome as they are leaving, as well as when they are arriving. And I lay this out in this article, but the part I want to focus on is how to set up email automation to do email follow-up with your visitors. Because uh, basically what this is going to do is hopefully build a relationship with them as much as can can possibly be done through email, Um, but to continue to get your name in their inbox and hopefully they begin to interact with what you are sending them. So I want to show you how to set up set this up in Mailchimp is and that's what we use at the crossing the church where I serve at. Uh, it's about ten bucks a month for the automation. Uh, I highly recommend you just uh, bite the ten bucks a month and do it. Uh, hopefully you have something in your budget that you can do that with. It's not that much, um, but it's going to be super important. So let me go ahead and go to Mailchimp.com. That's where you will get your sign up in. Um, it's really cool if you have a church uh, database or church management software, you can uh, export your list, your list of people, and put it into MailChimp. So I'm going to go ahead and log in to our account real quick, and that way you can see what we have going on. So we use this for our weekly newsletters as well as um, for our email automation. So when you come here, you log in. You'll go to automation to set up an email automation workflow. And basically we have this as a welcome series. When you go to add an automation, there's going to be some options. And I just recommend the welcome series because what it's going to do is you'll have a separate list of people who are designated as, it's just, you call it the visitor follow-up list. And when you, when you add someone to that list, uh, you'll just put their email, email address in their name And as soon as you add them to that list, you will have them be added to the queue, which will put them in uh, line to get email number one. So you'll go to add an automation, do the welcome email, and then you'll come to a place right here where you can uh, modify the emails that are going to be sent. So uh, when you set this up, initially it's going to have some presets and you'll just want to kind of go through there and modify it. And this, as this video is on YouTube, you can always go back and check it again. So I just simply called this the welcome series um, and it's the visitor follow-up list name. So I have a list, like I said, as soon as it gets added, that person immediately after they subscribe to join uh, are imported to the list. So uh, as soon as someone gets added, they get an email. And the first email, like I said, is right away. I'll usually add this on Monday morning, first thing in the morning. And right now we have an open rate of 60%, which in email uh, world is very good. If you don't track the amount of people who open your emails, uh, if you have like a weekly newsletter that you send out to your church, uh, you should just know that in the church world, the average is about 25% for your list. I know. 25% of the people who are uh, attending your church, have attended your church, uh, are somewhat regular, are opening your emails. It's pretty depressing, but that's just the way it is. But 60%, this is pretty good for for email. So 60% of people are opening it, 20% of people are clicking the link which is in there. So uh, since we've set this up, we've had 43 people uh, go through this process. We set this up uh, around Easter of this year. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how long we've been doing this. So not too long, but uh, enough to where I figured I'd show you how we're doing this. So uh, when you go in to edit the campaign, you'll, you'll have some options and I just highly recommend the regular text function uh, layout because 
if you have it's just I guess for me it just looks like a regular email from a regular person and that's what you want to do you want to make sure these are personalized um, to the extent where people they they know that it's they're going to know that it's, you know, automated email uh, if they're at all tech savvy at all. But um, at the same time, it's done well. So I've got these set up to say hi. And then the test first name is just simply um, what it does. MailChimp is awesome. You have uh, a little code that you can put in there and it puts their name in there. So hi, first name. So hi, Bill. Uh, we're so glad you chose to come to the crossing, blah, blah, blah. And what we've done is uh, created a video, a welcome uh, video from our lead pastor, Kenny White. And so I'll just show you where that goes to. You click that, and this person is uh, introduced to Kenny and his heart for uh, the church, his heart for them. And it's just a good way to kind of personalize the uh, the interaction between him and the visitor. So maybe it appears as though our website isn't working right now or it's just really slow. There it goes. So they'll come to this, come to thecrossing.com and hi Kenny, that's you right there. And they can watch this video and just be kind of personally welcomed to the church again. So uh, that's the first one. So like I said, 60% of the people are opening this. 20% of the people are clicking that link. And that's the only link in there. So uh, MailChimp is nice because you can uh, really keep track of what's going on, what's working, and what's not. So the subject line, we're so glad you came. And like I said, this is going to be coming to them on Monday morning, the, the day after they attended the church for the first time. So here's, here's some specifics that you're going to want to pay attention to. We send a total of five emails um, over the course of a month. Okay, So email number one goes out on Monday morning. 24 hours after they have subscribed to the list, which would be Monday, so 24 hours would be Tuesday at the same time, Tuesday they're going to be getting this email. Now, you'll notice that the open rate has lowered to 44%. That's still good in the realm of email marketing. Uh, and the click rate is 19.4%, which is still pretty good considering this is 20%. That's only dropped at 0. 0.6. So uh, I'll show you what we've got going on here. Subject line, your opinion can help us improve. So this is us asking them to fill out a short survey just to, telling us how their experience was. So again, we've personalized it. It's from Kenny. Um, the interesting thing is here, you can modify the from email address. So if your lead pastor is busy like ours is, um, you, you know, we, if, if he gets an email back, that's another thing he has to do. So what we've done is added the email address of the one that will go to our executive pastor and he can kind of just figure out who needs to respond to that uh, as it relates to, you know, whatever the question is, uh, if they have a random question. So, hey, Bill or bot, whatever, whoever, whoever it is, I promise we will not fill your inbox every week with emails. So you just kind of give them reassurance. Um, and like I said, you know, you can use this, you can pause these. We got these uh, templates from the, uh, the link in here that I um, link to right here, get the emails here. So you can actually get the templates that we use. We modified them. Um, obviously, so you can use ours, theirs, whatever. Just pause this and copy it if you like. Um, so this is just for a, a survey. We've linked it through Survey Monkey, and give you an idea of what we ask here. Um, we've got like four questions. That's simply it. We wanted to keep it really, really short. So what was the experience like? We kept that open ended on purpose. Um, we wanted to know, you know, did they attend church at all before coming to the crossing? And if they want more information on anything, then they'll give us their information and we'll be following up with them. Okay, so there you have that. That's on Tuesday. So two days later, Wednesday, Thursday, on Thursday, they are receiving another email. And now you notice the open rate has is through the roof, 71%. 5.7 click percent rate, which is not very good, um, but still in the realm of email marketing, it's actually pretty average. So email number three, this goes out on the Thursday after they came to church that Sunday. 
Now, this email is coming from me. I'm the associate pastor, um, and uh, so it's coming from me, and if they respond to this email, it's going directly to me. Here's the subject, how we got started and who we are today. So this is just an information thing. We share the crossing story. This is going to be highly personalized to your church. And so I just introduce myself as one of the pastors, give them a little bit of an idea of uh, our story, share with them uh, our crossing code, which is what we strive to be about, and then I personalize it again. You know, Bill, we're so glad that you came, that you joined us this past weekend, and uh, I invite them to ask me any questions by just simply replying, because if they reply, it's going to go straight to me over here in the from email address. Okay. So there you have it. Share their, share your story as a church with them. That's Thursday. Now, 12 days after that, which would be on, uh, a Tuesday, uh, they are receiving this email, 34% open rate. Not surprised that this has gone down, uh, since it's been a little bit since we emailed them. I didn't want to, you know, send them six different emails in one, in one week. Um, But this is what we sent this time. Getting connected is easier than you think. So we wanted to highlight different ways that people can get connected. So in an ideal world, this person would have attended uh, church at our church for the first time, been added to the email list. This would have been after their, I believe, third or second uh, Sunday with us. Then they are receiving this email, which is just encouraging them to get a little bit more connected. So we're kind of trying to guide them to a just a more enhanced relationship with the church. So we outline community groups, ministry teams, and a thing we called Crossing You, which is uh, some classes we offer on Sunday mornings. And this, again, is from myself. Um, and if they respond, then it's going to go straight to me. And then we'll, you know, divvy out the responses as needed based on what they are interested in. So uh, this is just, again, just encouraging them to further the relationship. That's what we want to do through this email campaign. All right. So 12 days there, 14 days after they uh, were sent this email, they'll receive this email. So this was, I think, pretty much three weeks afterwards because this is 12 days, not after they... uh, were subscribed to the original email, but 12 days after they were sent this email. So uh, on the third third Tuesday after they uh, had been added. So uh, they received this fifth and final email from us about a month later. And this is where we say we're available. And we just want to kind of throw it out there that, hey, uh, we want you to ask us questions. We want to be uh, here for you. We are here for you. Just reply, let us know, and uh, we'd love to talk with you about whatever it is that you're going through. And so we're just trying to say, hey, uh, you know, we're here. Just by the way, hey, by the way, you know, we're still here. Um, and all the while, after their first uh, email, after the first week they're involved in this process, I add them to our regular email list and they start receiving some email newsletters. So if you're interested in using MailChimp, there's plenty of tutorials that go through the nitty gritty specifics of how to set these up. But I wanted to show you how this can be utilized for email follow up for visitors at your church. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, under this video in YouTube or at rookiepreacher.com where you may be watching this from as well. And uh, if you like this video, feel free to to subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel or to our blog, and you'll receive uh, emails whenever we release new videos and new articles, as well as some free resources if you subscribe to our blog. So go to rookiepreacher.com if you're interested in that, and we would love to help you preach and lead better. So I hope this has been helpful. If it has, uh, let us know. And if you have any other questions as regards to MailChimp, let me know.